right, so last class we were talking about how to use a slip or a duck to be able to uh, avoid an opponent's attack. We can put this in the middle of our sequences as we're drilling to be able to um, build our base, build a different attacking sequence, um, build defense into our shadow boxing, that sort of stuff. Um, so what we start out with is just being able to move and shift our weight from side to side very effectively. This is a great drill for building strength in our base. Take our feet, put them in a shikodachi position or some sort of a two shoulder width position. And if we're just gonna sink over one foot, bring our weight over and back around. So it's like we're trying to draw a circle with our head. Then we can use that same movement and bring our feet into the drill. So we start with our normal kamana. We take our front foot, step it back along a line, like I was doing with our L step, and we bring our other foot forwards. And we can do this on a triangle, so I can bring my foot to one point and then my other foot to the middle, as if I were aiming towards my opponent every time. Or I can just do it straight ahead, either one works fine. What we're going to do as we do that step is we're going to sink, move, shift, and step. What we want to make sure we practice is good hand position as we do this. Sometimes it won't matter as we're stepping if we just keep our hands down, but it's good to practice having your hands around a target where if they kick you, it scores three points. Right? So if I bring my foot to the side, I want to bring my hands up my head as I get lower and then back to come on. Over and back to come on. Really common problem people have is their elbows fly out. So as they're moving, they start doing this. We want to have our hands right above our elbows. Alright? So the next part of that is we take our combine, we step to a side, and we slip or duck to that side. Okay? Now, we don't want to duck like this, bring our head close to our opponent's feet. We want to shift and keep our body relatively upright, even though we're going to take a little bit of a dip to one side or the other. So, if I step with my right foot, my back foot instead, towards my open side, I'm stepping straight out or slightly forwards. As I step, I'm gonna bring my hands up, and I'm going to sink it. As I lean slightly over that foot, I want to feel good pressure on this leg because I want to be able to immediately use it to redirect and counterattack. If I go to the opposite side, you'll see this less commonly used because I'm going towards my opponent's back leg, but you can still go this way occasionally too. Okay? So we practice to both sides to make sure we're even. We go. One and two. One and two. One and two. We want to have both sides. Alright? This is great for building our strength and building our base.